Hi, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president of the Startup Station. Welcome to our weekly strategic finance tips. In this video, we're going to talk about a question that's been recently raised by my clients, which are COGS for SaaS businesses. And COGS stand for cost of goods sold, and these are variable costs, right? So they're operating costs for your business, which you need to incur anyway, regardless of how much money you're making. And then there are costs which will vary with the revenues, right? So these are these costs. So typically for um, tech businesses, most of your costs will be fixed because you have to build the product. But specifically for SaaS, there are a few costs which are variable and I wanna discuss them here. Number one are hosting costs. An example will be AWS, cloud data sharing costs, any other costs incurred per user in hosting. Uh, and then there will be employee costs related to keeping the production environment running, right? So that you can service existing subscriptions. And here we're talking about the infrastructure team, DevOps, internal engineering. Now, remember for um, any employee position, this can be a percentage of their time, right? So it can be a percentage of the sale. Cost number three, employee costs for customer support or success, right? So your existing clients require support. They require technical support, maybe they require customer service. It will vary with how many customers you have. That's why it's variable costs. Now, we're not including here those um, uh, positions which are responsible for initial revenue generation, right? So new purchases, upsells, or cross-sells are not included. It's only the work required to service existing customers. Cost number four cost of any third-party software or data included in the product, right? So if you were um, using uh, any other solutions, uh, white label solutions in order to make your product better, you need to include that here. Uh, because again, the uh, rationale is that it is used in servicing your existing customers, right? So the question uh, to determine if the cost is uh, variable or not, ask, is this person important for servicing my existing customers? Not to convert new customers, but service specifically existing customers. And of course, let's not uh, confuse it with a cost like such as rent, right? Because rent is incurred regardless of whether or not you have any revenue. These costs will only be incurred with each customer. That's what makes the variable. And finally, cost number five, any other direct employee costs required to deliver the ongoing service. Right, and again, in the, all of these costs, which are related to employees, they can be a percentage of the position if they spend only a percentage of their time. And here you go. If you like this video, please like it, share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more strategic finance tips every week, and follow us on social media uh, for uh, more very exciting and useful content for entrepreneurs.